54 riddles. They're all about Christmas. See if you can solve this one. Cheerful confection. What a luscious look. Pure peppermint pleasure. On a holiday hook. Kitty cane. You're fast. <laughs> now, what if you used that big brain and solved all 54 riddles? Here's where they're at, all throughout the town. If you solve them all, turn them into the visitor center, you could win a thousand dollars in prizes. Will, is that you? Dead sure, Will. Indeed, sir. I haven't seen you in a year, Quill. It has been a long season, has it not? Bobby Hebert, it is great to see you. It is good to see you, my brother. It is It is a window wonderland time, and here we are again. Yes, here I am, downtown. speaking in my regular voice, but the question is, is that my regular voice, or is it Quill? You should ask my wife. She goes, are you wearing that outfit again? I go, oh, it's that time of year when I dress like Quill. Like Dracula, I sleep in this outfit just to come downtown. And here's what I've done again this year for you, for Window Wonderland. Look, see these. I have written them. One, not 20, 54 riddles. 54? Yay. Yeah. How does one write 54 riddles? <laughs> one has been doing it now for 12 years. And they're all different. Every year there's a different riddle. So you'll ne you cannot go on your cursed internet to figure this out. But G Guess what? I tried to. Last year, my wife was one away. She and her friend. And I said, we can figure this out. Couldn't. And so, yeah, it's me, Bob, again talking to you because otherwise Quill will take over the conversation but you've just hit on the thing that I love best about this contest. Sure, you can win a thousand dollars in prizes and I think that's fantastic the city offers that but working together with your friends on something that you simply cannot get lost into your cell phone with is what this is what my gift to the city is this actually started many years ago before there was ever a winter wonderland there's bobby hebert cruising down to the north carolina beaches with his kids and they're like their dad they don't shut up so i'm always coming up with riddles for them to solve oh uh, figure this out big and green and full of holes see the flags on top of poles golf oh, course that's right that's right matthew that's a golf course i would say and so my wife kept them on. She goes, you got to do something with this someday. And about, oh, 12 years ago when I was working for the Freelance Star, they asked me, hey, can you help the city come up with this contest? So what I'm given is obtuse descriptions of everyday items. That's what Window Wonderland is all about. You know what these traditions are. So I have traditions. I have people. I have movies. I have things that you might see at Christmas time. And this is what I ask you to do. Come downtown. If you've done this before, these are brand new riddles. If you haven't done this before, bring a friend because this is one of the easier ones. I've got things on holiday traditions and how songs were formed because I actually had to look all this up. You'll have to really know your details on some of the different traditions to solve some of these riddles. And not everybody knows everything. But when you work together, you're going to have fun with a friend. And so this is what I love about the city of Fredericksburg. This is our own, you know, hallmark moment where you're a family walking down the street encounters a poet who puts them to the challenge. Yay, one of you will go home today, a oh, little master. Oh, the rest of you crying yourself to sleep as I do, a poor poet. But you have a pillow, I have a rock. This is what you're going to do in the city. You're going to solve riddles. Now, I'm out on the street sometimes because a few years ago I decided to... Uh, I, I like writing riddles, but I also like acting, so I'm Quill, the epic poet, at the Virginia Renaissance Fair. I said, why not mix my chocolate and peanut butter together? So a lot of weekends I come out here, I walk on the streets, and if I catch people playing Window Wonderland, I put them to the riddle test and they become a riddle master with a riddle certificate that I give out. Do I get one of those because I answered one? Sir, you get a riddle certificate because indeed you are a riddle master. And, Ted Schubel, I shall sing your epic praises beginning now. Ted, Ted, he's a riddle master. Ted, Ted, sold our riddles faster. Everybody knows it. Here comes the dance part. His big brain. He likes to show it Russian style. Ted, 
Yeah. That has now, never been now, done before. Now, yeah, it'll be never done again. I'm sure there'll be a court order soon. <laughs> but here is your riddle certificate. And you, my friends, come on downtown. Play a game. Become a child again. I had to become a child to write them. I'll, I'll tell you the different subject matters. I have movies. Now, some of these are quite old movies. Some of them are brand new movies. I got one of them that's coming out on Netflix. I had to research that one. I go, oh, this is going to be a hard one because this is a brand new movie. I've got books. Some of them are ancient. Songs, some of them are ancient too. And traditions, toys. Oh, toys was one of my favorite ones because I love the old toys. But now as a man with three granddaughters, I have to be up on the new toys. So you're going to have to get your in. Here's, I've met teams playing this game. The best teams I've met are multi-generational. I've met parents with their children, with their grandparents, and I believe I've seen as many as four generations. So as a child, a parent, grandparent, and a great-grandparent. That's about 80 years of knowledge all spread out. A team like that will not be defeated when it comes to window wonder. You know, you, yeah. you meet people playing the game one year and their kids in elementary school, and then you meet them 10 years later and they're going off to college. And I go, hey, wow, for, you know, I own a piece of property. I own some lakefront property in somebody's good old days. Yeah. I love the thought of that, that I'm part of somebody's good old days because they have a story that is unlike most stories you're going to run into. Oh, yeah, I grew up in a, in a small town that at Christmas time we went out and we would solve all the riddles that they had on the windows. Uh, just for fun and one year we won a prize and one year this crazy guy dressed in a costume with a British accent gave us out a prize. And you're thinking, wow, what city is that? Where did they do that? Well, my friends, that's your city. That's Fredericksburg. So if you have somebody that lives in some poor city, some city that's so poor that it can't afford a poet, I suggest you come to Fredericksburg, take a tour of the streets play together in the streets, figure things out together as a family or friends. I especially like this because I get to meet a lot of people that are a couple of generations younger than me. Mm -hmm. Nothing thrills me more than seeing a bunch of high school kids trying to figure these out. And then Quill intercedes and Quill puts them to the real challenge. And I'll tell you, the fastest minds I've met are 10 year olds. In fact, it makes so much sense to me because most of my riddles you know, when I was developing this talent, uh, that was 20 years ago. That's when my son Matthew was 10, and there was nothing I could beat him with because his mind was just that fast. Yeah. Because it's all, not all cluttered with uh, presumptions, because as adults we have presumptions. But as children, we cut right to the quick, and the literal is ours. And that's why I kind of see this game as kind of a backdoor to Wonderland. If you've grown up mm -hmm. and you've got too many grown up worries, all the things that you can't afford right now, the things you're gonna buy at Christmas time, if all that is weighing down on you and everything else, take a break, take a break and come join me because I get to be a child while I write these. I hope you become a child while you can solve these. This makes Fredericksburg just, it's, 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 it's a great place anyway to add to it, thank you. Yeah, that, that's what I would say. Come on out and have a great time. A star on top, a bucket below. I'm on the inside, outside is snow. You know what that is. It's a Christmas tree. But you can't type that into Google and it won't tell you. But your friends will tell you. This is Window Wonderland. You, my friends, are invited to come into the art fair city. You could win a prize, but the best prize of all is the fellowship you will have with your loved ones. I'm so happy you're here. Thank you.